conference, there are always two speakers who have the most difficult part. Um, that's uh, the last speaker before lunch and the first speaker after lunch. <laughs> and I hope, uh, nevertheless, that you will enjoy my talk, um, similar to uh, the talk um, of my colleague from the Netherlands. And I would like to start with a remembrance of the film. Forty years ago, in 1971, the movie Harold and Maud, directed by Harold Ashby, fascinated the people all around the world. Harold Chasen, a teenager of 18 years, played by Bud Cord, doesn't want to live any longer. He feels not to be loved and can't see any sense in his life. To gain the attention of his mother, who is a very eccentric and self-centered person, Harold tries to commit suicide several times. It's more funny than tragic. On a graveyard, one of his favorite places to go, Harold meets one day Maud, played by Ruth Gordon. She is 79 years old and lives an extraordinary life. They spend a beautiful time together and Harold works to do things he never did before. Maud is a survivor of the Holocaust and they lost her husband. Because of this experience, she tries to enjoy every minute of her life and to be as free in her behavior as she wants to be. On this photograph, we can see both riding on a motorcycle, which has been stolen by Maud from a policeman. It's a picture with a highly metaphoric sense. The young man learns a lot about life from the old woman and she feels quite young in his closeness. The young man will become an old one within the next 40 or 50 years, such as Maud was a young woman 40 or 50 years ago. At the end, both know, well, if you want to sing out, sing out, and if you want to be free, be free, because there's a million things to be. You can do what you want, the opportunity is on, and if you want to find find a new way, you can do it today. Remember the beautiful music of Cat Stevens by singing this text. But from the lovable poetry, we have to come back to reality, to facts and figures. First of all, we have to decide for which customers we want to work as librarians in the present as well as in the future. What means 60 plus? Let's have a look on some of the representatives of the recent so-called silver generation. Do we mean Pope Benedetto or the former German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt? Do we mean um, the Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi or the four Rolling Stones, all 60 plus? Do we mean the German actor Joachim Fuchsberger who wrote a very old is nothing from cowards, or the American actor and film director Clint Eastwood, and you see him here in this film, Gran Torino. Do we mean the German Wutbürger against the new station building, building Stuttgart 21st in Baden-Württemberg, or against the new shopping center in the city of Halle in saxony anhalt People aren't a homogeneous group within our societies. They belong to different social classes. They have different education uh, levels. They trace very sophisticated interests. On the following chart, you can see the social environment survey on people older than 50. The chart, uh, the chart was published by Seba Socio Vision, the social scientific enterprise seated in the city of Heidelberg. On the left side, you can see the different social classes. Upper class and higher middle class first, second middle, middle class, and third lower middle class. Below, you can see the orientation concerning values. A, the traditionalists with the values performance of one's duties, order and security. B, modernization with status, property, living standard, self-fulfillment, pleasure, individualization. And 
and see 